So I'm here with Dav, Dav Jones, back in Scarlet's land, obviously first week back. Tell us a little bit though about your injury and obviously it's the recovery period, it's taken a little bit of time and you've had to have a second op. Yeah, initially I had the first operation back in November. Uh, all that surgery went really well, they happy with the AC joint, uh, but uh, there was more to the injury than uh, they obviously um, first thought. And that's the disappointing part, really, on my behalf. And uh, I'd rather uh, have the second uh, operation to obviously uh, put it back. So, reconstruction really of the shoulder. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so, when did you have that done? Yeah, I had done. I'm four weeks post surgery now. Right. Uh, okay. This thing's been off since last Thursday. That must feel quite nice. Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> so, this year's going to be a full six weeks, but uh, the surgeon's happy for this, like. Uh, Accelerated rehab uh, program, so obviously we spent four weeks, which is encouraging. So, uh, and uh, the next challenge is to get the movement back uh, in the shoulder. And what's what's the prognosis really now from the medical team on the shoulder? Obviously, four weeks post-op. Have they said how did it go? Did they say yeah, it well, well, the surgeon's really happy with the shoulder. It's as good as it's going to be, really. So obviously we're going to take rehab, uh, get really thorough the rehab, and obviously make it. Uh, as good as it can be, really. Uh, all encouraging, really, and uh, obviously the hard work starts now. We're obviously getting, uh, mm. getting everything fired up and uh, getting the bulk back on. Uh, obviously, it's pretty rugby. And presumably, having making that decision to have the second up kind of right at the end of the season, so you've given yourself a bit more time before you know, uh, obviously, we get back to rugby. Yeah, that was, that was the biggest. Uh, that was the biggest issue for me to obviously. It was never easy making the decision to obviously have the surgery. Uh, personally, I uh, would rather not have it another good pre-season, but uh, obviously the medical and the, my, my surgeon said uh, it wasn't going to last and uh, he basically made the decision for me. Mm. Uh, but uh, now the hard work starts for myself. Uh, I've done it before. Uh, I mean, I know what, uh, what it takes to come back and uh, I'm comfortable with all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, it's going to be a lot of sweat and <laughs> tears from time to time. But uh, there we are, that, uh, that's where we are. Um, it's going to be a time, I'll be back October sometime. And uh, obviously, uh, hopefully before then, but uh, October sometime. And uh, yeah. just look forward to that. Look forward to that. And obviously, you were going so well. Frustration <laughs> is yeah. with this. You were going so well before the injury. Motivation of World Cups. Um, getting back into Wales, obviously you were doing so well, you know, on your international front as well. You know, is that is that enough motivation for you through the time of getting kind of over the summer and, and getting over this injury? Does it motivate you to to, to get back as quickly as you can? Uh, the way I sum it up, uh, obviously we've been watching Wales over the summer, and uh, I mean it's hard, but uh, my uh, my thought at the moment is obviously to play for the Scarlets ASAP. Uh, and obviously, uh, these autumn internationals, they might come a bit soon, obviously, but uh, I need to be playing well for the Scarlets. Uh, that's the, that's the, uh, my biggest uh, biggest goal yet. And uh, obviously, I mean, the big time goal is to, uh, to get to the World Cup next, this, what, this time next year, really. So, uh, and a word on your colleague, Rob McCusker, and how he's oh, done really with Wales. Yeah. yeah, I really shout for Rob. Really, he's, been, uh, he's been loyal. He's been here as a youngster, and uh, it's hard for me because we play in the same position. But uh, I've got a lot of time and uh, time and regard for Rob McCusker. Uh, he's a great guy off the, off the pitch, but uh, he thoroughly deserves uh, uh, his caps. Uh, no question, is he's got loads to come as well, and uh, he's a great, uh, great guy, and uh, I mean, very professional day in day out, and he, he deserves everything he gets. So into the pre-season now, obviously limited amount you can do at the moment in terms of you know recovering from the injury, but nice to be back and nice to see all the guys back. And yeah, it is. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Obviously they they train and uh, we haven't got any we many injured boys at the moment, so uh, I'm on my own in the in the <laughs> physio room and uh, doing rehab. But uh, that's where we're at. Uh, that's where I'm at, and uh, I'm doing uh, everything I can really to uh, to obviously get the shoulder right. ASAP. And hopefully we'll see you back in October, Deb. All the best with that and uh, catch Thanks. up with you at the beginning of the season. Brilliant. Thanks, Thank you. Hi Morgan, nice to see you back. First week back. Um, been put through your paces this morning? Um, yeah, this morning we had um, body testing. 
just to go through various exercises so they can tell what we've been doing during the off season. Uh, this afternoon we had a uh, 1k test which we got specific times where we obviously had to complete. What was your time? Were we allowed to um, know? Yeah, I had to beat get below 3 minutes 15. Unfortunately, I had 3.04, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Pleased with that. And who came out on top? Um, I think um, Andrew Fenby had four minutes, uh, 3 minutes, so <laughs> I was just a little bit behind him. And how's everything feeling? Obviously, coming back from injury now into a false pre-season. Obviously, really important for you now, coming back before September, this, this particular period of training. Yeah, I'm pleased to say everything um, feels great. Also, I still have to be careful early on just to make sure I don't get any niggling injuries, but hopefully everything's OK and I can take part in it every day. So how important is this summer for you now, coming obviously with your target coming back in September? Yeah, it's a big summer for me and I think it's a big summer for the Sword Scarlet's team. Mm. I think, you know, we may have, we are disappointed maybe last season and uh, we got a lot of expectations to fulfil the season. Yeah, frustration season for you last season, so you came back in November and then broke down again. How do you keep sort of mentally coming back and, you know, getting yourself ready now for yeah, next season? No, it's fairly mentally challenging, but... It's good, obviously, to come in every day and see the boys anyway, even if you are injured. And the physios and the conditioning coaches help you get through it. It's, what I mean. it's hard, but it's obviously worse than you could be doing. Yeah, and so, obviously, now targeting back, looking forward to next season. Big fixtures with the Heineken Cup. Obviously, you probably watched that draw with interest. What was your, what was your reaction? Yeah, I was, on, I was on holidays, actually. <laughs> I was uh, checking on the BBC website every half hour to see who was coming through. I think, yeah, we got... Tough group, but uh, always tough in any cup. I mean, big games, I mean, obviously, big crowds going to uh, Leicester. Obviously, good away trips in Italy and France, so it's pleasing. It'd be nice for you to get back and get in amongst the European Cup again, you know, and, and be part of it. Yeah, yeah, the European Cup as well. Every, every player wants to play and everyone looks forward to playing it. And as far as the Wales players, the guys that have been obviously with Wales are coming back now from New Zealand. Have you watched a bit of that as well? Some yeah, youngsters I've, um, <laughs> spoke with uh, Tav. And uh, sent him congratulations for getting on to his cap. Obviously, he's I mean, probably chuffed a bit, and all his family are chuffed for him. I mean, great for Tav, and, and obviously, oh, yeah, Roger Pesco, and yeah. you know, the guys to go out there yeah, and get that time. Yeah, I thought uh, mentioned all Ben. I think he's got three caps and all three games in a row. So. Yeah. Two against the All Blacks, and one against South Africa. Yeah, not so bad, not is bad. it? He's done well, he's done really well. Yeah, I mean, cracking season. And so, what, for you now, next season, what are the key aims, obviously, in, in terms of you and your performance coming back into the squad after quite a long break? Um, probably think the key aims is to probably play as much um, rugby as I can and just try and enjoy every game. Well, it's nice to see you back, Morgan. Good luck with the pre season, and we'll catch up with you again at the beginning yeah, of the season. Nice talking to you. Okay, Bye. cheers.